DBCO is an international project supported by the 2020 Horizonte Program of the European Committee implemented by the GIZ in cooperation with 13 organizations with experience in four continents. The main goal is to establish a closer cooperation between technology European suppliers and biogas stakeholders in participating countries. The project works through different initiatives like a digital platform, seminar development, technical meetings and visits to plan in different countries. On the website you can access two different documents, dossiers and developed webinars. In this conjunto of virtual visits we are realizing with the project DIVICO of the European Union, En esta ocasión los invitamos a recorrer la planta de Yanquetruz, una planta de la Asociación de Cooperativas Argentinas que está instalada en la provincia de San Luis, una provincia central argentina que se caracteriza por bajo nivel de precipitaciones, por, alta, por bajo nivel de materia orgánica de sus suelos. Esta planta que eh, abastece, se abastece con silajes de maíz y de sorgo y residuos de cerdo Bueno, vamos a tener la oportunidad de eh, recorrerla en detalle y eh, luego de realizada la visita tendrán la oportunidad en los talleres de poder hacer preguntas específicas. Bienvenidos a Yanquetruz. Bioenergía Yanquetruz es un establecimiento que está ubicado en Juan Llerena, San Luis. Eh, pertenece a Asociación de Cooperativas Argentinas. Nosotros somos una planta encargada de procesar 300 metros cúbicos de purines diarios y lo que hacemos es, eh, en conjunto con, con los purines y forraje, forraje de maíz y sorgo, generar gas suficiente para, para la generación eléctrica. Generamos unos 1.300 metros cúbicos de gas hora y producimos e inyectamos a la, a la red, al interconectado nacional, 2 megavatios hora. Having made the introduction, we start a visit to one of the first industrial biogas plants in Argentina, which is in stage of growth and constant improvement. At the current stage of the project, the population of the pig farm is 1,300 mothers and 1,800 pigs. The total energy generated from the slurry is used to self-supply the entire establishment. It is planned that in the near future the farm will house 5,200 mother souls and a total population of the other of 74,000 animals whose destiny is to supply the meat processing plant Alimentos Magro Sociedad Anónima that also belongs to the cooperative movement. The company, Yanquetruz, with an area of 2,300 hectares, is the result of a project developed by ACA, Argentine Cooperatives Association, organization founded in 1922, which today brings together 160 associations with 15,000 producers. The development was designed to install a model hatchery of high health status so that the area remains free of mycoplasma and swine fever. Manure collection is carried out in roofed sheds, those containing the production of pigs, where the different stages of the cycle are fulfilled. The floors are slotted and the slurry is extracted by washing. This is derived to a first receiving chamber. From there, they go to the mixing and loading sector of the digesters. A la salida de nuestros digestores, tenemos, hacemos una separación de fertilizantes, obtenemos biosol y biol y hacemos fertilización de, nuestro, de nuestros campos aquí en la zona. Regarding storage, slurry have a very limited period of reserve and homogenization before mixing with the cast substrates.
The maize silage, one of the added to the mix, is stored in the traditional cover bunker system. From there, special machines cut it and move it and transfer it to the digester's loading trays. The daily feeding of the digester consists of a mixture of maize silage, manure and food waste. Manure makes possible the regulation and stabilization of gas production. Special sectors are arranged to compose a system, preload moving backhoes are used to fill them, that transport the raw material from the storage places. An electronic device alerts the operator when sufficient volume has been covered to start the process of preparing it for loading. The zero loader has a rotating system that enables the advance of the material and its conduction towards the sector of mixture with a slurry. A grinder mixer pump is responsible for homogenizing and uniting the different streams to achieve a single, uniform substrate that is propelled to the primary digesters in a staggered manner. La planta está compuesta de, de tres digestores primarios, un digestor secundario y uno en proceso. El estimo va a estar para, para febrero funcionando. Contamos con cuatro, cuatro motores, dos que funcionan continuamente, dos de backup, con lo cual tenemos capacidad de entregar energía las 24 horas, los 365 días del año. También somos capaces de abastecer en isla a, al criadero, Eh, ante eventuales cortes. Two of the primary tanks are semi-underground, designed to reduce thermal insulation requirements and improve the energy balance of the heating. The volumetric capacity is 3,619 and 2,897 cubic meters, respectively. Adds a secondary digester of 5,000 cubic meters and a fourth of equal capacity, which is about to be enabled when the hydraulic tightness tests are passed. The tanks in the aerial part have insulation and an outer protective cover in order to reduce thermal losses and heat consumption for heating. Upper covers are made of geomembrane. The internal one, in contact with the biogas, is fixed to the top of the digester and sealed to prevent methane leaks. A second membrane was placed on this cover, which provides external protection. It is kept inflated by motors and ducts that inject air. An outlet valve regulates its pressure. The internal pressure of the digester is limited by a simple water column system. If, in exceptional cases, this pressure is exceeded, gas bubbling begins. The system is completed by a series of adjustable propellers agitators that allow the mixture to be homogenized inside the digesters. The loading process of the three primary digesters is carried out in stages, on a rotating basis using one hour for each. This avoids sudden changes in the temperature and internal composition of this. The input material homogenizing chamber is heated and has agitators that condition the component at the internal temperature of the digester. To achieve an optimal transformation and a good production of biogas, a certain temperature is required inside the biodigesters, which must be supplied by external heat since the reactions do not generate heat. In this case, part of the heat recovered from the generator engines is used to maintain the internal temperature of all tanks. The temperature selected for operation is 14 degrees and the heat is applied by external exchangers to the tanks. The conductor of heat is circulating water between the heat exchangers that recover the energy contained in the exhaust gases. The cooling ducts of the motors are the heating coils of the mass in digestion. The temperature is constantly monitored, automotion and control systems allow achieving a stable range inside all tanks, regardless of the external ambient temperature. The system is completed by the help coming from isolation of all biodigesters to avoid energy losses. The company has a complete sector linked to the generation and distribution of thermal energy and biogas-fed boilers are added. 
The generated heat is transported by the hot water to the different sectors of peak production that require specific temperatures. The first operation to ensure biogas quality takes place inside biodigesters. Through special dispensers, air is injected, not exceeded 0.3% oxygen in the stored gas. This injection allows to go down from 300 to 100 parts per million. In a second intervention, the gas is cooled by chillers that reduce its temperature to cause condensation of water vapor and thus drying it. Finally, the gas is introduced into activated carbon filters in order to lower the content of hydrogen sulfate to trace levels, which could damage vital engine parts. Gas analysis systems permanently allow evaluating the input and output quality of this, in order to verify the effectiveness of the treatment carried out and avoid possible damage to the engines or the boiler. The entire system is centralized in a special room where the different pipes that lead the material converge underground. Low pumps are used to drive all kinds of material. Pneumatic actuator valves and electric engines allow full control of the movements of loading, unloading, circulation and heating of the biogas. The concept of the plant is of a modular type, which allows the exchange of content between all the fermentation tanks. This gives great plasticity and adaptability against changes in the diet or failures in any of the fermentation tanks. Biodigesters are remotely monitored and operated through a general control room that receives all the information. A total of four of five operators work in rotating shift of eight hours. From there, you can operate the different actuators, pumps, motors and mechanisms in order to achieve optimal feeding, maintaining the temperature, as well as all the parameters that make the optimal operation. The information collected is transmitted online also allowing external remote monitoring of plant performance, wherever the person in charge is located. There are digesters and post-digester fill register sensors, operating temperatures, valve positions and engine condition. The plant has four internal combustion engines, a Gembaja of Austrian origin, a Siemens brought from Spain, and two Caterpillar of 765 kVA each, specially adapted for continuous operation with biogas. The sum of engines allows Janketrus to banish any interruption for maintenance in the delivery of electrical energy to the network. Two engines are inside specially conditioned and isolated containers to reduce noise generation, as well as strong fluctuations in temperature, and the other two are locked up in special rooms. The capacity of these generators is 1067 kilowatt hours each. Each engine has its own continuous maintenance plan in order to warranty optimal operation, avoiding breakages or failures that would imply the interruption in the generation of electricity. The system has two generator engines and backup boilers to maintain temperature and the operation of critical electric motors that must continue to functioning. This equipment also allows to supply in an isolated way the requirements of the entire pig farm from a thermal and electrical point of view. Given the complexity due to the number of actuators motors and their electrical controls, the plant has large rooms where the electricity circuits are located, as well as individual monitors where you can check the status of each sector independently of the computer screens in the control office. A sector of this room is dedicated to the energy purchasing company. The equipment is located there and permanently reports the operation and delivery of energy to the interconnected system. Tenemos tratamiento del digerido, la salida de nuestro de nuestros digestores. 
Hacemos la separación de nuestro digerido en una fase líquida y una sólida y en la fase sólida generamos 60 toneladas diarias de, de fertilizante sólido. The digestate that leaves the biodigesters goes to a temporary storage lagoon. From there it is pumped into a large capacity screw type separator adjustable through a weight system, the one that allows to graduate the amount of extracted liquid. The liquid fraction accumulates in an uncovered waterproof lagoon with a total capacity of 50,000 cubic meters, water that allows to storage the digesters during the three months of sowing, when it's not possible the application in the field. This liquid is extracted by pumps and is derived by pipes to fixed points, where distributor cannons are connected with powerful rollable pipes which are responsible for distributing the digestate in the different plots. The solid fraction is stored in a special tray to be distributed in due time using manure machines properly adapted for this purpose. The plant has its own transformer sector, one for each generator set, in order to rise the voltage from 1,600 to 33,000 kVA and thus minimize transmission losses. 2.2 MW are permanently delivered. All electrical management is remotely monitored for the delivery company, Camesa. Based on delivery reports, outputs of operation and more, this company builds the supplied energy. The biodigesters were built by a national civil engineering company, Arinco, specialized in handling reinforced concrete for large volume cylindrical structures. The electromechanical control phase, as well as the design and assembly task, also come from national suppliers, who provide engineering and components. The company Tecnored from Córdoba. Special pumps, agitators, grinders, motors and generators are imported. Since the biogas plant cannot be stopped due to power outages, there is a series of independent generator seats that have the capacity to supply electricity on island shape, both to this and to the entire pig farm. <laughs>